Hey guys, so Blake Robinson here. Wanted to have a real quick conversation. If you are trying to make changes to your health, uh, make changes to your fitness, make changes to your marathon time, make changes to any part of your physical health or your physical being, and assuming that you are of uh, a sound mind and body, uh, there are a lot of different uh, philosophies, ideas of how to change or adapt your body, but I have created this super simple, amazing guide for how to make the changes and what it depends upon. Number one, this is your body. Number two, what it depends on is nutrition. Probably about 40-50% of how you look, how you feel, how you perform is up to your nutrition. Number two is your training. What kind of effort? What are you training for? Are you being effective in your workouts? Are you wasting time? Are you doing the same workouts for longer than six, eight weeks and seeing zero changes and stagnating. And then you also want to look at your recovery. Are you sleeping? Are you stretching? Are you foam rolling? Are you doing things to maintain or increase your range of motion? Are you meditating? One of the last things that's up there that everybody wants to make even bigger, I don't even know if you can read that, supplementation. Supplements are not a magic bullet. They are not a quick fix. In fact, it is a very minute percentage of your total health, your total transformation, whatever the case may be. If you are trying to affect change in your body and you are relying on a quick fix, on a magic bullet, a tea, uh, whatever the heck it may be, I'm not attacking any specific singular supplement. I use supplements in my own training, in my own life, but I rely on my nutrition, my training, my recovery, 99% of what I do. And supplementation is that 1%. So don't think that 1% is going to make up for 100%, 50%, or 70% of what you're not doing. Nutrition, training, recovery, figure that out. And then worry about your supplementation. Hope you have a great weekend. See ya.